All right, so we have the bass clarinet apart, and we've done the time-lapse video of us taking it apart. So now I wanted to zoom in and show you guys a little bit of what we're seeing with this bass clarinet, that it's definitely been a long time since it's had any cleaning. So you can see all that gunk. That's food, bacteria, spit, calcification, just whatever's in the player's mouth. It's sort of just sitting there, and... Uh, According to the parent who has this instrument, this is a school instrument, they, uh, they said their kid got sick from playing it. Couldn't say if that's true. I'm going off the parent's word, so I'm not going to blame the school necessarily. I mean, kids get sick all the time, just going off of what the parent tells me. But this could be a factor. And there's just a lot of food and gunk all over it on the inside, the outside. Swabbing helps, but it just cleans the inside of the instrument. Every year, you just gotta take it apart. And this is where you can get really deep into that inside and clean the tone holes on the outside, the inside. Uh, let alone oiling, uh, the speed up video, you probably guys can see it, that uh, all these little screws, the threadings, they're all dry. So taking apart some of them were particularly difficult. So uh, I back them off, I add a little oil, and then I put it back in. So that way the threading is wet, and it'll kind of break up some of the compounds in there. And then I'm going to wash the entire instrument. And uh, then I'll re-oil again, so that way, because um, the soap and the cleaning chemicals that we use is going to degrease it and remove that oil. But right now it's just breaking up whatever calcifications inside the tiny, tiny threads. And you might ask why I didn't put the rods back in, because you can see how they're kind of black, some of them are. We're going to remove the grease and old oil that's on them right now, and... Um, then we'll clean up all of the, the parts and uh, then I'll put new oil when I put everything back together. You can even see some of these pads have some of the food that's transferring over to them as well. So back to the instrument. Let's see. So this is the lower section going into the upper section. It's just, just everywhere. And uh, I took a photo, a very, very close-up photo of one of the rods that was stuck. And part of it, uh, it may have been damaged. It may have been not completely straight, so you couldn't pull it out exactly. But also, it was very dry, so it's just been a long time since it's been disassembled and cleaned and oiled. And the problem that happens also, um, let alone taking it apart, but uh, the little slot for what would be, you know, a flathead screwdriver is really chewed up. So we're gonna have to basically file the top down, sort of chop off the top, and then cut a new slot inside so that way you can unscrew it again in the future. Nothing terrible, but uh, the result of what happens when it's just been a long time since the instrument's been disassembled and cleaned. I think that's the worst of it right there right at the top pretty common job we do this pretty much every year for instruments or at least we should so if you've got anything like this or if it's been more than a year since you've had your instrument disassembled i hope you guys will consider bringing it in and happy to help thank you